The Biotech 12, 18 and 36 screenmatic filters are mechanical biological filters for garden and koi ponds, up to 140,000 litres, depending on the fish stocking levels. The screenmatic system removes all coarse debris from the water prior to entering the biological elements of the filter. Giving exceptionally low maintenance, the screen automatically rotates every 30 minutes and deposits the collected debris into a collection tray below. This can be easily removed and emptied when required. The foam media below has a very high surface area, allowing for rapid colonization of essential filter bacteria, which then leads to a chamber filled with zeolite and Oasa grants a clear water guarantee on the filters when used correctly. These filters are characterised by their large filter volume, which creates an ideal environment for removing solid particles from the pond, removing excess nutrients from the water that would otherwise result in algae growth, and maintaining the correct biological balance in the pond. The zeolite cartridges can also be replaced with Oasa Fossless, for additional removal of algae nutrients such as nitrate and phosphate. The foam filters are exceptionally easy to maintain. Simply push the cleaning handle on each foam to squeeze the waste into the bottom of the filter and an integrated sludge drain then removes the collected waste. Installation. Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarise yourself with the product and the accessories. The Biotech screenmatic filters are pump-fed, meaning the outlet of the filter must be above water surface level. If you are feeding a waterfall or watercourse, the outlet must be above the top level of the waterfall. The outlet must always be able to drain via gravity and will not push water uphill. Position the filter on a firm level base. Care should be taken to position the filter where it will not fall or be knocked into the pond. Connect the outlet pipes to transport the filtered water back to the pond or to a waterfall. For the Biotech 36 Screenmatic, firstly insert the large seal ring into the outlet hole. Then push the outlet pipe through the opening. If required, connect a length of 2-inch diameter hose onto the waste outlet and route to a drain or flower bed. Remove the zeolite cartridges from the filter and remove the packaging, then replace into the filter. To connect the inlet from the pump, firstly cut down the stepped hose tail to the correct size, depending on the hose diameter being used. Push the stepped hose tail onto the hose and secure with the hose clip. Place the flat gasket over the hose tail thread, then push through one of the inlet holes on the front of the filter. Push the O-ring over the inlet nozzle, then screw onto the inlet hose tail from inside the filter. This procedure should be repeated for the other inlet hole, but the hose tail should not be cut down, leaving it closed to seal the other inlet hole. If you are using a Bitron ultraviolet clarifier, the two outlets of the Bitron will fit into the two inlet holes of the Biotech filter in place of the two hose tails. Route the cable for the screenmatic motor through the filter wall and secure using the rubber seal where it passes through the wall of the filter. Connect the cable to the transformer and screw together. Ensure the waste outlet slide valve is located in the down position. Then switch on the pump and check for leaks. Adjust the water flow using the water distributor on the top of the filter so that the water flow meets the first third of the screen. Connect the power supply to the screenmatic motor transformer and check for operation. Please note the screen will automatically rotate every 30 minutes. If required, add a bacteria booster to the water in the filter box. The biological activity in the filter will take several weeks to reach its full biological effect, so this should be considered if the pond will contain fish. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden, and remember to disconnect the power supply to any pond equipment before entering the water, or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance
Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment, always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. For regular maintenance, the debris collection tray below the screen-matic mesh should be removed and emptied when required. To clean the foams, remove the filter lid and raise the screen-matic unit to an upright position. Locate the cleaning tool on the top of the foam holder and depress several times to squeeze the waste into the bottom of the filter. When all foams have been depressed several times, raise the slide valve of the waste outlet to drain the waste from the filter. Push the slide valve back down when the filter is completely drained. If the foams are very soiled, they should be removed from the filter and cleaned in a bucket of pond water. Unclip the top of the foam holder and remove each foam. Replace when cleaned and relocate the top of the foam holder. Remove the zeolite cartridges and clean under running water. Then replace into the filter. Clean the water distributor, then replace the screenmatic unit into the down position. To clean the screenmatic unit, depress the blue clips on either side of the screen and remove the screen. Unscrew one side of the screen using the blue locking nuts and remove the side of the screen. The mesh screen can now be removed and cleaned under running water. Clean the brushes of the screen, then replace the mesh. Replace the side of the screen unit and secure with the blue locking nuts. Replace the screen onto the holder and ensure the locking clips locate onto the base. Reconnect the power supply to the pump and screenmatic motor and check for operation.